Hey y'all, I thought I'd do a little different type of video here for uh, the time of the year, Christmas coming around, everybody's putting up their Christmas lights. And you always gotta face the problem every year with one of them balls burning out, and all of them are out. And I thought I'd show you exactly how they work. A lot of people don't know. Alright, as you can see, I got a basic series circuit drawn here. This represents your plug-in, and your two fuses, and your Christmas lights. Okay, this just shows four. This means there's more than this. I'm just showing four of them. On a standard set, there's usually 48 to 50 lights in one strand. There can be more than that, but they're separate circuits. Okay, this is just a basic circuit here. What happens is power comes in this one, and it comes out, and it goes into the next one, and so on. In other words, if these were positive and negative, it'd be positive, negative, positive, negative, like this. The input goes in the output, like that, if that makes sense. It's like a standard series circuit. And if one bulb goes out, and all, they all go out because they're all hooked in series. Same, it'd be the same as a fuse blown on any circuit. Because the fuse is always in series with the load. Okay, when you buy replacement bulbs, you'll notice it says they're rated for 2.5 volts. And the reason for that, the standard for years was 48. 120 volts divided by 48. Because the resistance from each bulb is the same, so the voltage you drop across each bulb is the same. And it comes out to 2.5 volts across each bulb. So in other words, if you took a voltmeter while the circuit was on, and put it on this wire and this wire, you'd read 2.5 volts across it. Same for here and same for here and all the way down the line. Now to keep things simple, what most companies do, they'll put 50 bulbs in there just to make it an even number an even number of lights and that'd make it 2.4 volts across each bulb which it's a slightly less voltage but it's not enough for the human eye to notice the difference in the light you couldn't tell no difference in brightness and this here shows an example of a bad bulb these aren't on if one bulb goes out they're all off and the same scenario applies if a fuse blows because a fuse is in series with the whole entire circuit Okay, if you notice from these papers, I wrote old on there. This is the way the lights used to be. A few a few years back, they changed the design of the Christmas light bulb. This is the old bulb, just a simple incandescent style bulb. This represents the wire coming into it, and this is the filament here. This is what glows white hot to produce the light you see. And this is your wires coming out of the bottom. Now the new bulb is a little bit different. I mean, this basic design, they look the same on the outside, but there's an additional shunt in here. And when this filament is burning, the shunt don't do nothing. It has a high resistance because of a coating on it. Then if this filament burns out, the bulb will quit working, but this co the cover will burn off of this shunt, and it'll act like a resistor. Approximately a 6 ohm resistor. A standard light's about 3 ohms. So in other words, it'll just act like a resistor. The light won't go out, but all the other lights will still be on. And that's the easy way to let you know which bulb is bad. And you don't have to go through finding each one, going through trying each one to figure out which one's bad. The lights can be confusing because uh, if one bulb goes out, then you don't have no clue at all which one it is. But on the new bulbs, when one burns out, it's just that one. Uh, a lot of people would say they're all wired in parallel instead. That's not true. Now some Christmas lights with the bigger bulbs, they are wired in parallel. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you. Catch you all later.